Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to flash any Verizon BlackBerry to Cricut. So, on my BlackBerry, I'm just going to lock it. We can dial 611 and put on speakerphone. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Okay, that confirms that the phone is on the Verizon network, and we're going to switch that to Cricut. So, first thing I want you to do is go on your computer and open Desktop Manager. All the files I'm going to mention you can purchase for six bucks from us at Super Casey Phones by clicking over here in the right. Click on that link. All right, once you have Device Manager open, take your phone and plug it in. It says you want to turn on mass storage mode. We are going to click yes. Enter your device password if you have one. And I'm going to enter that in on my computer too. Okay. Now. Once that is open and it says connect it to desktop, that is fine. It asks, do I want to update? Nope. Cancel. All right. Now close all of this. Close all of this. Make sure that desktop manager remains open. Just pull it down. Next, you're going to want to see what device or what COM ports your device is on. To do this, click on Start. Go to Settings. Click on Control Panel. Go to System. Click on Hardware and go for device manager alright now open the ports list you should see room virtual serial port v2 and you should see two of those um, wherever they are on you want to switch to COM port 1 and COM port 2 I'll show you how to do that you right click you go to properties port settings advanced and you change it from whatever it is to COM port 1 or COM port 2. Now it doesn't matter if it says in use or not, just change it. It'll ask you do you want to overwrite and click yes. I'm going to click cancel, cancel. Make sure it's on 1 and 2. Your phone will be de detected on COM port 2. Alright, once you have done that, pull down device manager, you can close these boxes, and I want you to open a program called QPST configuration. So I'm going to go to QPST once it's been installed and QPST configuration. Once again, you can purchase all these programs from us by clicking over here for $8. Now you can see it shows Comport 2 is enabled and it has an unknown phone. That's fine. Now we want to go to server or start clients and click on service programming. Then it shows the phone again. It shows some phone number. I don't know whose phone number that is. Go ahead, call it if you want. I've never seen it. Um, and COM port 2. So we're going to click OK. And then it's going to ask you, it says the model is unknown. Please select a model. Whatever it's on, just click OK. Next, I want you to go click on Roam. And now you're going to browse for the PRL file. So we open this and we click on Roam and we're looking for the PRL file. Now we're going to browse, okay, um, here's the PRL that I'll give you, and then you click Write to Phone. It's going to ask you for your programming code, it's always going to be six zeros, make sure it's six zeros. Now this is how you can, you can flash Verizon Storms, you can flash any phone that you want, um, the new 9630 Twer, anything that you want to flash over to Cricut from Verizon, this will work. Now these boxes pop up. Just click no and click no. Okay, my phone has started to reboot. Alright. And it says warning, no longer detected on Comport 2, whatever. Then you can close these boxes. And my phone is rebooting. Sorry about that flickering. Don't know how to make it stop flickering.
By the way, this is a BlackBerry 8830 World Edition from Verizon. Verizon. Okay, so phone boots back up and it's locked. We're going to unlock it. This is if you have an unlock code. Next, you're going to go to hit the BlackBerry Manager button. As you can see, our signal is turned off. So what we are currently doing is turning our signal back on. Go down to Mobile Network. Select it. Make sure it goes on. Get some bars. Now we can back out of that. Okay, and let's dial 611, call, and let's put this on speakerphone. Okay, that said welcome to Cricket. That confirms that the phone is on the Cricket network, and that's all.